Guess where I was today? A very special and quiet place called a graveyard. I was looking at the place and it looked so quiet, beautiful and innocent. And I asked myself a funny question. What has become of all these people? What about their plans? All their acquisitions in life? It's striking when you're here to realize that all these people have no remembrance of what is happening in the world today. What about the Porsche that they were struggling so hard to buy? The house that they wanted to build at all costs? And the land disputes? all the material things that they were struggling to acquire in life. What happened to all those things? So what were they toiling for? Why were they fighting so hard in life? Why were they working so hard? The ecclesiast asked himself these questions as well. He tested life, he tested so many things. He came up with some answers. The first illusion one may think about is that, well, because the dead do not remember anything about life anymore. So let us eat, let us drink, let us party, let us do whatever pleases us. Because when we die, we do not remember anything. So you live only once, and once you're dead, it's all finished. So party. But is that the real philosophy of life? The Ecclesiast thought so as well. And he explored everything. He denied himself nothing as pleasure in this world, realizing that all those things are vanity. And there is a lot of that theology outside. Come, let us eat, let us drink, let us party. There is no God. When you die, it's all finished. There's no hope. So come, let's eat, let's enjoy. And so many people preach that theology outside. And so after testing all those crazy things and coming to the conclusion that everything is vanity, the ecclesiast came to the conclusion, fear God and obey his commandments, for that is the whole duty of man. For God will bring everything into judgment, including every sacred thing, whether good or evil. And Paul says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or bad. And so some of us have come to realize that there is a meaning to life, and that meaning is found in Jesus. And so the question is, what theology guides you on this matter? Well, tell me what you think. God bless you.